What's going on YouTube? Today we got a, a, a new product. We got a AutoLine Pro uh, smoke machine to figure out EVAP and other vacuum leaks. So I already got the thing set up. It's not hooked up, just set up. We're gonna see if it actually works. All right, so my brother David's WRX, it's a 09 WRX, that's David. Uh, we've done a few things on this thing before on the channel. Uh, some of the OG people remember the... Uh, coilovers. Yeah, what What are they? Raceland. Oh, Raceland coilovers. It's like my number three most viewed video. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, he's been having some weird stumbling issues. Uh, this is the, the smoker machine. It has a built-in, um, they say air compressor. It's a fan. Let's not be too fancy. Uh, it plugs onto the automotive battery. Uh, so it's all a self-contained unit. I already set it up, put the fluid in, everything. Uh, let's see if it smokes in the right way. All right, so step one for figuring out the vacuum leak. We are gonna be taking the air filter off and uh, capping that off with a plastic bag or, you know, rubber glove, something. I don't have the, uh, the proper plugs for it. We're gonna block that off so the smoke can't escape through the air filter so it goes directly into the system and hopefully we find the leak. All right, so while David's doing that, uh, the directions on this thing, power on, heat only, did that. It's warming up, it's been warming up for a minute or two. So I'm gonna switch it to heat auxiliary and uh, inject some smoke. Let's see. Switch, it's pretty simple. It's on heat only now. And I just did it to smoke and... Well, it's smoking. Smoking pretty good now. Not gonna lie though. That car smokes a lot more. Maybe I should have hooked up the tailpipe to it. Yeah. Oh well. All right, so we did see some smoke. Uh, just some asshole driving by. We saw some smoke coming from down here. Yeah, you can see it. I don't know if it's coming from one of the, uh, the fittings off from the turbo inlet. You can see that right there down in there. It's kind of moist. Got the oil residue going on. And you can also see smoke from over here. So I'm wondering if it might be one of the plastic crossover pipes for the, uh, I don't remember what you call it. it goes side to side, one of the vacuum pipes. You can kind of see underneath right there kind of moist also with oil residue so it leads me to believe either a hose is cracked or the plastic is cracked there we go my button wasn't working um so uh i don't know the thing works the smoker smokes uh we were able to kind of pinpoint where the issue is and how much was this thing 130 bucks it was 135 shipped, uh, Prime Next Day Air, uh, Shop Series smoke machine, has a built-in air pump on it, so it was like 30 bucks more because of the air pump? $10. Oh, shit, $10 more because of the air pump. Uh, well worth it, you don't have to use an air compressor to put it in line and just less things to do. It's all in one, hook it up to the battery, uh, let it warm up after a minute, two. Um, yeah, it smokes. If you run out of the stuff that they give you, they tell you to use unscented baby oil, correct? Uh, or Merrill. Merrill? Mineral. Mineral. Mineral oil in place of it, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than this stuff off Amazon. Two bottles is 25 bucks. Yeah, two bottles, 25 bucks. The other bottle. stuff, way cheaper. So uh, I'd recommend going that route. Uh, we're going to use this on a few other cars, seeing how it actually does smoke. We're going to use it on that piece of shit. Um, that piece of shit might actually get a motor. That's a different story, and I'm annoyed about it, so we won't talk about it. But yeah, um, 
Stay tuned for part two. Yes, no, it's like part 97. And this is part Oh, this two. is, yeah, stay tuned for part two on this thing because we are going to figure out the Derex, fix it, and hopefully the uh, weird link code, whatever it is, goes away, which I think is hopefully a vacuum link. We will find out. But yeah, um, check back for more. All right, thanks. Bye.